Joining us is Philip Chan. He is a Managing Director of Institutional Equity Sales at Shen Yin Wago, right here in Hong Kong. Well, Philip, thanks for coming in. Okay, well, what's your overall view then? Is that it? No, we, no, we, are, we are cautious on the banks, generally speaking, because uh, the, I mean, this slowdown in the, the earnings growth is being well expected, um, I think. Um, given the, the, the two main areas you've got to look at are the, um, imp the liquidity has, has gone up, but loan growth has been slowing, so therefore, you know, the uh, NIM has been is, is under pressure, and then also the uh, the fact that um, liquidity is better uh, means that um, there's more risk of, say, um, things like uh, you know MPLs coming out. Non-performing loans, yeah. is what you're talking yeah. about. Now, but yeah. non-performing loans, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, when is a non-performing loan a non-performing <laughs> loan? Well, the I mean, there's so many ways of getting around this on a balance sheet. Yes, yes, there are. Um, the thing is that that um, no. We, there has been steadily growing in some, in some certain areas, particularly the coastal provinces. Um, so that's obviously been a factor of, um, say, the export-related um, export uh, businesses, which have slowed down. But uh, the thing is, we don't think that that is a, is a overly, should be over, we should be overly concerned about that. Um, the issue about the local government loans and you know, that whole issue, we think is more or less discounted in the price now um, because we don't again we don't think that is such a a problem which is unsurmountable by by you know by the Chinese by the Chinese banks so we we think that um, you know in valuation terms the the banks look very cheap but, but you're uh, not recommending them particularly you're saying not, be not cautious very, yeah not but very, if they're, not cheap, very strong, they're cheap yeah. for a reason is what you're saying as well yes yes that's right mm. so we'd be very highly selective we're only recommending a couple of the smaller ones um, if you're talking about buy um, like uh, you know, Chongqing Rural Bank and um, China Mingshan Bank. For the large ones, probably you could stick with um, you know ICBC would be okay. Um, it's just that we don't see that there's there's massive um, sort of outperformance coming. We saw the outperformance in the run up to Christmas. The, the banks have been pulling back since over the last few weeks. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, is there anybody that you would say is a good bet though? Um, as I said, I think for the large ones, uh, you then probably stick with ICBC. That's, that one looks okay. Uh, you know, we, 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 we're, not, we're not actually saying that uh, any of the banks will, um, will, you know, are a sell. And we don't think that they are a sell. It's just that we don't think that they're going to, that there isn't much of a catalyst to, okay. to raise them. Yeah. So uh, what's being priced in, in uh, at the moment with the, these banks, generally speaking? Well, I think most of the bad, the bad news is, uh, short-term bad news has been priced in. Um, the, what what uh, people are hoping is that there's going to be some, of course, some, some stimulus measures. Yeah. Uh, right? And that was why the, the banks ran up in, before Christmas. Um, but because we didn't have very strong stimulus measures. But, but, but when you mean by stimulus, we could have more loosening of monetary policy, yeah. certainly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we were expecting a reserve requirement yeah. cut. cut uh, yeah. You know, every day we expected. We haven't been getting one, though. We haven't had one for a, a month yeah. or two. Yeah, that's right. Um, well, no, the, th the thing is, I think, that, like I said, expectations are probably uh, too, too high for, for the, you know, the rate of stimulus. And we think that stimulus is going to come, but it won't be as aggressive as 2009. So therefore, you can't expect then a big pop in uh, the stocks either. So, okay, do we? Yeah. I mean, we're going to get more of this. I mean, we're losing a monetary policy, and if so, when? And uh, would we actually have interest rate proper reductions? No, I don't, we don't look for we don't look for a cut in interest rates um, in the short term. It really depends on how, because we we think that actually the growth um, in China is still fairly robust. There's no need for them to cut interest rates. Um, re re reducing RRR is definitely a possibility, so we think most likely next month. Philip, thank so you so much for, for coming in. Uh, Philip Chan.